Here we are at gig 35 in the Bass String Experiment Series. From gig 37 onwards, it's uncharted territory for me. I've never used a set of strings on a gigging bass for this number of shows. So how many gigs can these strings actually last for? Join me on the journey and let's find out. Here's gig 35. Here we are, gig number 35 with the Status Empathy. Same string since July 2022. And you find me on gig number 35, dressed up, ready to do a gig in Droitwich near Worcester with uh, a friend's band called The Bears playing a wedding out in the uh, Worcestershire countryside. Very nice it is too. Uh, so we're on in about 15, 20 minutes. So uh, the empathy, so uh, where are we? So this gig number 35. So uh, the last gig was ABBA, 21st century ABBA in Newbury. And the strings are fairly dead on the E and A string now. D and G strings still got a bit of brightness, a bit of twang, but um, there's not a lot of life left in the E and A. So I've done very well to get this far. So here we are on gig number 35. I'll catch you on the other side, but um, We'll see how we get on. <laughs> they, one of them could break tonight, who knows? Hopefully they won't. Uh, they've been very reliable so far, but let's see. So gig number 35 with the Bears in Droitwich in Worcestershire here in the UK. Catch you later, take it easy. Last night, gig number 36, uh, we had to bail out of that gig really quick and, uh, and get home. It was a long old day yesterday. So, uh, so how was the empathy? So before the gig, so that's after gig 35, losing track. So after 35, to be honest, the strings haven't changed too much recently. So the E and the A are fairly dead, but they're doing okay. The D and G are still reasonably bright. There's a bit of punch there, plenty of clarity. Uh, status empathy EQ gets you out of all sorts of problems. So it's all good. Uh, so that was after 35, which was the gig with the Bears in Droitwich. So last night was 36 with Capricorns in Salisbury. 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 So the strings haven't changed again. So that we did uh, two hours of playing last night. Uh, air conditioned room, hot outside. Guitars were in uh, the car most of the day. Um, but they kind of, uh, the strings are, are, are fine, they, 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 they're as they were. So here we are, gig number 37 on the bass string experiment. Got the empathy here in the bag. I haven't got it out of the bag yet. So there we go, the empathy's in there. Same strings since last July, gig number 37. Here I am at Box Park in Wembley, Sunday, end of May. It's not that busy at the moment, but it will be shortly when the hordes come out of uh, Wembley Stadium for uh, I think it's League 2 playoff final League 1 League 1 League 1 playoff final I think so uh, yeah so I'm going to show you uh, what we're doing today so playing with a band called Brainscape and uh, we're playing Box Park for the fans so because we're in Wembley it's a match day parking is absolutely hellish parking in Wembley as long as I can remember being alive is usually hellish but now so much of it is pedestrianized and during um, match day uh, events or if there's a big concert on or what have you basically lots of the roads get closed down so trying to get to a venue that's slap bang in the middle of kind of the Wembley complex is uh, tricky to say the least so when I got offered this gig about a week ago I was looking at the parking options and I thought no this isn't gonna work is it so I've never done the bass speaker on a trolley on public transport before. Well, I have today. <laughs> and I wasn't sure how it was going to pan out. So it's a fairly sizable venue, as you can see. The stage is very thin, but wide. Um, there is some monitoring, but don't know how it's going to work. We're providing a PA that then goes into the house system. Again, don't know how this is going to pan out. So ideally, I probably would have just bought a 2x10 Neo cab a super light near Demium speaker but I was told no you might need something a little more hefty or not we don't know I've never played here before so I bought a 212 so I've got an Aguilar SL212 with me there we go so that's come 
on the trolley so parked up at the tube put the speaker onto the trolley uh, bungee cords all around it keep it secure so what else am I bringing so I've got my status empathy because that's been featured on the bass string experiment series this is gig number 37 so those strings these strings have been on since the end of July 2022 and all the gigs that I've been able to use this bass on it's had those strings they haven't changed uh, so the empathy's in here doing its thing pre-show warm-up of course uh, so what have I used amp wise well I was going to bring an AG700 Aguilar but I just thought there is no way I'm going to fit that in the gig bag with the bass and uh, I didn't want to bring extra hand luggage it was going to take one hand to carry the trolley and one to keep the bass steady so uh, I've gone and this will be controversial <laughs> so I'm using a Trace Elliott Elf um, today which is very small very bijou 200 watts um, very underpowered for this cabinet but that's fine I don't think I'm gonna have to push it too hard the joy of the elf and I, the reason I say controversial is lots of people say you can't use those on gigs yes you can I've done many a gig with this uh, elf and 2x12 cab different brand of 2x12 cab I used to use it with an EBS Neo 212 but anyway it's with an Aguilar SL212 this afternoon so the joy of the elf let me just quickly show you so for bass lovers out there so this is the elf so three band EQ gain master volume it's a jack output into a speak on output on the cabinet DI there if we're gonna need it um, I bought the, the real joy about this amp because you can fit it in your back pocket watch you think I'm joking I ain't are you ready the amp fits in your back pocket it's that small so it fits in the gig bag perfectly uh, so what I'm doing, going from the bass to a tuner pedal, Boss TU2. And then, uh, because tunings could change today, and also just to give myself uh, an octave effect, I bought the Digitech drop pedal. Bass to tuner to Digitech drop into the L. That's it. What could go wrong? Be good. So I will keep you posted. I'll let you know how all this pans out. It could go wonderfully. Or not <laughs> we'll see but the journey here wasn't too bad the worst bit was getting out of the car into the tube station at Ickenham um, and then getting on the platform getting on the train other than that it's been great because there was a lift here at Wembley and um, I haven't got to park a car I've got to worry about loading in and out the drummers tried loading in he couldn't get that close to the venue because the police have shut off all the roads advice kids don't be a drummer, be a bass player, it's far easier. Here we are, gig number 38, doing a private event with Twist and Rock in uh, kind of out near Chelmsford, sort of Braintree Way in Essex, uh, which is east of London, here in the UK. So we're doing a private match and uh, it should be good fun. There's a lot of people around and uh, it's outdoors and we're having a good bang holiday. So we've got the empathy here, of course. Go. So after yesterday's gig, which was fairly frantic at Box Park in Wembley, it's uh, the strings are okay. Yeah, I've just checked them over and we're okay. So this is gig number 38 for these strings. I don't know how they keep going, but they are. Well done, Road to Sound. And uh, I'll give you an update after the gig. Uh, but E and A string are the same as they were yesterday. Fairly sort of dull uh, but I've done 30 yet well 37 gigs so far and uh, yeah but it's all good it's all good the D and G strings are still still got some life in them so we'll just carry on until one snaps or the uh, the tuning massively drops off good. I'll catch you later I'll give you an update after the gig take it easy episode 39 of the bass string experiment series. So I'm here with Uncle Funks and Scott Fono playing a gig at Chipping Camden for an event of the Olympic Games, which predates the, uh, the world famous Olympic Games. This is a traditional English some sort of games yeah. involving breaking people's shins apparently but anyway this is uh, number 39 
<laughs> the series got to stay the same of course. So the gig we're going to do tonight is going to be the 39th gig with these bass strings. Uh, 38 was on Monday out in uh, Essex near Braintree for a private event with Twist of Rock. So I can let you hear the strings unamplified. So the E string, <laughs> quite comical. That was a bit of older micro elastic. Not good. The A string, similarly. Not that great. D string, however, pretty good. G string is not too bad either. Same. Which I think we're going to get quite excited. So we'll do number 39 tonight, number 40 tomorrow, which is a wedding in. <laughs> trying to remember. Down in Brighton. It's not the, it's not so uh, I'll give you an update on how much. the strings are uh, <laughs> after tonight's <laughs> gig. Probably <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> but it's all good. But uh, they're playing okay. <laughs> the EQ gets you out of uh, every predicament on this place. So uh, nothing snapped. Tuning stability is still there. Just a bit dull in the bottom end. Really soldier on. I'll catch you later. Last night was Gig 39 with uh, Uncle Funk up in Chipping Camden. Uh, Bass is fine, the strings are as they are. So the E and the A string are fairly dead, dying off. D and G strings, still got some punch and clarity. It's all good. So after Gig 39, where are the strings at? As I said earlier, this is uncharted territory for me. I've never used a set of strings for as lengthy a run of shows as this. So another five shows into this series and the strings aren't changing particularly radically from show to show. The E and A strings continue to take a pounding as by their nature they get used the most. The D and G strings still have some brightness and presence, so where are we with the ratings? There are changes in the ratings compared to the last video. The feel and brightness of the strings remain the same at around 30%. The bottom end is hanging on at around 50%, but the overall tone has dropped to 40%, but it's not really that surprising. We move on to gig 40, which is with the Capricorns on a wedding in East Sussex. I'll see you there. <laughs> 